All right guys, today I've got a video on my Galaxy S4 and I'm gonna show you guys how to install Saijin Mod on the Galaxy S4. So this is the official nightly. Um, I'm gonna give you guys links to everything obviously in the video description just like always. So first of all, let's just show you what you gotta do here. Um, you got to download the RAT files. So I downloaded them and I put them in a folder called CM10.1 and here is the ROM and here is the Google applications. So you're going to need both of those. Of course, obviously links in the video description. Um, this thing, you are going to have to have um, root access on your device. Right here I have with super user and you're going to have to have uh, custom recovery installed, whatever that might be, whether it's Clockwork Mod Recovery or Torp Recovery and obviously you're going to be using Lowkey to install those things. Um, so, if you got all that done, uh, what I'm going to actually do is go into Goo Manager and use Goo Manager to reboot me into recovery. Um, if you don't have, uh, know how to get into recovery, uh, you just basically power the device, hit hold volume up and power and it should get you into recovery. So I'm going to reboot into recovery this way. Um, it just makes it easier, less, less steps on it for me. And uh, we'll get into this. So you can see right here, it's actually either blue up there on top, means so it's going to recovery. Well, it looks kind of pink in the camera, purple or whatever. So this is a Team Win Recovery Project or a Twerp Recovery. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go in here and do a backup. Pick all these things, highlight them all, doop, doop, do, 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 preload, and then swipe across to do the backup. I've already done this, so I'm not going to. You can see my backup right here from yesterday, basically. Uh, so then after you've done your backup, um, you're going to go to wipes and you're just going to go ahead and do wipe all. That's done. Go back. Go back again. And then go to installs. And I do not want my uh, external SD. I want my internal SD. So we're going to go to internal. It's actually called SD though on here. So SD card. And then right here's my folder for CM 10.1. And this is where I have my Google applications and my CM 10.1 ROM, which is a nightly for the Galaxy S4 Verizon edition. And go ahead and hit this and then add one more. Hit the second what, the second one, which is the Google applications. So we have two, uh, two uh, files we're flashing. One is the ROM, two is the Google applications. And then go ahead and swipe across to install them. That's it pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna let this install now. Uh, just so you guys notice a couple things. I have good battery life right up here on top. That is uh, super important that we have good battery life on this device when we're doing this. So make sure make sure that's there. And then um, lastly, this process is pretty much standard for almost any ROM you flash. So I mean, read the form that you download ROMs from. They may may if it's like a based on stock, it may not you may not have to flash the Google applications. But otherwise, the procedure is pretty much the same. An Android backup wipe and then um, and then you just go ahead and you flash the ROM and the Google applications. That's pretty much a standard procedure for how to do this. So we finished, everything finished, you just saw it and just go ahead and do reboot. Now on reboot um, we're going to have maybe a different boot animation. That's what I'm not sure of. I want to kind of see that. Also reboot can take up to 10 minutes uh, so be aware of that also. Um, so let's set this thing reboot. I just want to see this boot animation. Is it going to change? Are we going to have the same thing? Okay, so this is Saijin Mod 10.1 boot animation. This is their standard boot animation. Again, give it 10 minutes, let it boot up, and we'll come back to it. Alright guys, on boot up, you should see this. That was actually very quick. It only took about uh, 3 minutes to boot up. Real fast. Um, now, I don't have cell signal because I don't have a sim in this right now. Just don't worry about that kind of stuff. I'm going to skip through these and uh, set up stuff right here, and then we'll show you guys the ROM. Okay, here we go. This is uh, CM10.1 uh, Jelly Bean on the Galaxy S4. And here we go. This is your basic home screens right here. I've already set up. Let's see what we got in the pull down. So you do have your uh, little toggles and information right here, which is pretty sweet. Battery life right there, obviously. This would be for notifications. And I think you can slide this, yes. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and look into settings. 
And let's see what we got. We have Super User built into it right here at the bottom. That's very way cool. Let's go ahead and check out what we got here. Um, like I said, Android uh, 4.2.2. Your kernel, SideGen mod, pretty cool. RAM, build, nightly, all that kind of good stuff. It's all right in there. Um, let's see what else we got here. Scrolling. So we have some advanced stuff here. I'm not sure what this is. Um, screen sensors, haptic sounds, a whole bunch of uh, settings in there under advanced for sure. Others oh, pretty standard stuff. And now we go into the system. So system is probably the best uh, customization that you can do with uh, CM 10.1. So I like status bar. Um, so like battery style, circle with percentage. Now it gives me percentage in there. You know, different different cool little stuff like that you can go ahead and uh, adjust in here. Quick panels. Um, that would be adjusting these panels and what you want on here and different features with that. So, um, all kinds of stuff, different stuff in your battery light. I mean, just, yeah, clock widgets, all kinds of uh, cool, cool little settings you can do in here for sure. You do have themes you can download from Google Play, obviously. Lock screen launcher. Trebuchet launcher, or I think that's how you say it, trebuchet, um, and it's general settings, so pretty pretty standard for CM10. Um, but there you go, that's it. That's pretty much how you install it. Let's go ahead and really quick, and let's just see what kind of apps it does come with. We do have a uh, mod file manager right there, um, Apollo for music, DSP manager for sound, Torch built into it along with Terminal. Um, pretty, uh, like I said, pretty standard right there. It looks like you any kind of Google applications you're going to want, you're going to have to download through the Play Store. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, the standard setup right there. Real fast and smooth. Um, really wonder what kind of quadrant you could get on this thing. But there you go, guys. That is how to install um, CM10.1 on the Galaxy S4. Get it up and running. There you go. Hope you guys like it. Um, like I said, pretty generic. Uh, pretty much how you install almost any round. So I hope you guys like this, and uh, as always, please check me out right up here at RootJunkie.com. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.